Chapter 10 Creating Layouts and Publishing the Project Step 1 Creating Layouts In this chapter we will create layouts, place drawings of our building on these layouts, and publish the whole documentation set to a PDF file containing all the drawings. In the navigator, switch to the layout book. You can see a number of layouts are already created in it. You can also see a masters folder. Every layout must be based on a master layout which defines size and orientation and may contain pre-drawn information that should appear in all layouts based on that master layout. Click the new master layout button to create a new master layout. Enter D portrait for the name in the appearing dialog. Select the newly created master layout and click the Settings button in the Navigator. In the Size field, select D Architectural from the list. Set the orientation to Portrait and set all margins to 0.5 inches. Also select the Auto Arrange New Drawings radio button and click the Auto Arrange Setup button to its right. In the appearing dialog, Set the two upper values of the distance from margin field and both values of the gap between drawings field as one inch. Check the Create New when Layout is Full checkbox. This specifies in what direction and how drawings are arranged when multiple drawings are placed simultaneously in the same layout. The other settings should stay as the defaults. When finished, click OK, then OK again to accept these changes. Now, double-click the D Landscape Master Layout. Notice that there are pre-drawn elements on it. These will appear on every layout that is based on this master layout, so you'll need to draw them only once. Click the File, Info, Project Info menu command to see information you can enter about your project. This data can be automatically shown on layouts and master layouts. Activate the text tool. Zoom into the lower right corner of the layout and select the text block with a shift click. Click into it, then select its contents. Click on the Insert Auto Text button. In the appearing dialog, select the Layout category and choose Layout ID from the list. Click Insert. Click anywhere outside the text field to deselect the newly created auto text element. The text number lay ID appears in the text box. This shows that it is an auto text item that automatically assumes its correct value, depending on the layout upon which it is placed. Double click the A3 sections layout to activate it. Since this layout is based on the D landscape master, you can check that the layout ID field now displays the value A3, which is the ID of the layout you are viewing.